Alright guys, so as promised, here we are, more Genesis car content, and today we're going to be slamming the Genesis. I have Megan racing coilovers, they were raised up a little bit just a smidge for the trip down to San Francisco, but today not only are we going to be lowering it back down to where it was, but even lower. I think I'm going to drop it a full inch in the front, maybe two inches in the rear don't know I've, I actually have no idea how much space I have so I'll probably lower the car an inch maybe an inch and a half all the way around and we'll get an alignment done so we'll show you guys everything getting done and the Genesis content is here so the long awaited video I don't know what else to tell you guys we're just gonna get in we're gonna lower the car we're gonna get it aligned and that's gonna be today's video all right okay gotcha bam done and excuse the noise, today is like the most noisy day of all. I come out here this morning, people are mowing their lawns, freaking trash truck is driving around, everybody wants to be loud, so excuse the noise. If you can't hear me, I'm sorry. If you get the lawn mower, I'm sorry. If the trash truck gets it, I'm sorry. Okay. Alright guys, so excuse the noise, but here is the front, and I can like, you know, I think I can like barely... I think an inch is going to be good. What do you think? I was not ready to fall in like I'm wasted. So the way that this works is so you have your coil over here. This is for your spring rate. You're not going to touch this at all. You might use it to spin it, but you're not going to loosen these. They're going to stay locked. What you're going to do is you're going to break loose this with a, a locking collar, a uh, coil over, you know, tool. I don't know what they're called. And then you twist it downwards. That's how you do it kind of. This is like a pain in the ass. You unscrew this and then you twist this coil over down. It's a lot harder than it looks. So you get these, whatever these things are called. I don't know. You see how hard that is? Ridiculous. And you forever I follow, you'll be my holy ground. You forever I follow.
sure that these are super, I like to make mine super tight. I mean, sometimes they're harder to get back off, but you'd rather, you'd rather have it harder to get off than come undone while you're driving. So that's one coil over done. And as you can see, that was a decent amount of ways. So right now, that's to like five eighths right there. From the bottom of the coil. Awesome. Measure. Always want to measure it, make sure it's equal on both sides. So just like that, the fronts are done. And just to show you, it's the same on both sides. All right, so we're gonna put the wheels back on and drop down the car and the fronts are done. Hopefully, let's check the height. <laughs> Search but you stay lost We are, we are reaching for the stars But we're making this too hard And I wonder where you are Mr. Yes, that's the part you always show You're too I've been talking this whole time with the camera or the microphone off, so <sighs> I wanted it to drop a little bit lower, but I think that this might rub, so yeah. And this side, I don't know if you could tell, has a lot more camber than this side. <laughs> Oh, yeah.
different. They have the collars, the locking collars at the top that you need to spin off, but as well on the dampener right here that you need to get off or do just as much as you did on here or else one's going to push the car up more than the other. People always have this problem where they change one and not the other and then they're like, oh, why is my car not getting lower? That's why. So this is the hardest part right here. If you can see right here, this top one is broken off and it moves freely. The hard part is that this spring still has tension so this bottom one doesn't move. So the way that you have to do it is kind of hold it, kind of hold it in place like this. Fuck. See, you can already see it's super difficult to fucking hold it. Hold it in place tight like that and hit it with the hammer until it breaks loose. Your other option is to drop the A-arm which is probably a lot easier considering this is hard as shit. There you go. That's that's why that's so hard. So your other option right here, like I was saying, is to drop the arm. You get these two bolts undone right here, and you just kind of drop it down, which is what I think I'm gonna do. As you can see, I dropped the two bolts right here for the A arm. They don't go all the way down because the bolt in the back here is still holding it for the A arm. I didn't you don't want to loosen that, that's gonna adjust your camber. So I was able to get the lock nuts off, which was still very hard, or the locking collars. I'm just I'm just gonna slam it and put it all the way fucking up. Fuck it. Now all I gotta do is adjust the strut back here. Just adjust the strut and then we're gonna be good. And then I'll show you when it's done on the other side. So the thing that you want to, like, remember when you're doing this is that I had a problem getting my spring separated from the collar. And it's because it's had so much pressure and this rubber right here that goes in between this, which I don't even know really why it's on there, but this rubber creates like such a tight seal on this that it makes it hard for the locking collar to go up. So I just had to take a screwdriver and kind of pry it apart. Now you always want to mark your bolts with a marker to make sure they go back in the same position when they are done. Because your your bolts back here, like your camber bolts and everything like that, if they are not in the same position, both your cambers will be off. So you want to mark them so at least they go back kind of or close to where they were before. Now that you got them marked up, it's time to take them out. <laughs>
never ever find the right words And there's no way this is real life There's no telling you're the right girl So I can only say that it feels right It feels right, it feels right Yeah, I can only say that it feels right It feels right, it feels right Yeah, I can only say that it feels right Alright, well the car is done The first time that I did it and drop the car, it wasn't low enough, so I had to get it back up in the air, do it all over again. But, it's done. I'm dirty as fuck. I'm gonna go take a shower, but first I'm gonna take you around the car, show you what it looks like, and then we'll go get in alignment. So here's how the rear came out. Here's how the front came out. What's fucking awesome is I'm all done. The Genesis is already slammed. I wish the front could go lower, but we gotta get everything, like the fenders need to be rolled first. So right now I'm gonna get ready. I'm gonna eat a little bit more and then we're gonna be heading down to the alignment shop. I'll see you guys in a little bit. So we're here at the alignment shop. My boy's getting us. We're gonna get aligned soon. <laughs> This is just a must Put me in perspective I'm the deepest in the cut Everybody tuning in But this is just for us now We know I ain't ballin' yet Hoes wanna holler Oh no, I don't call them back Girl, let me see you Hold it down We gon' have a blast Cause I just wanna know What you gonna do with all of that Ain't gotta say a word I know it's so You can have it all Watch me whip it off I'll admit it You got me feeling hella love Even when it's going down Know that we gon' live it off Young shot caller Always been a baller Know that you the one I can feel it in my heart Yeah, I won't stop charging Be going come harder That's gonna be it for this episode of Booster Ride The Car Like that you saw we had a super productive day We slammed the car down We got the car aligned And it looks So good shit Still got the key dollar on the side representing probably gonna pull that off later. I'm gonna get some dope shots, walk around the car, and that's gonna be it. Thank you guys so much for all the support that you guys have been giving me recently. We're at 88 subscribers. We've been growing so rapidly and I wanna hit hundred. So if you guys can smash that like button, share this video, keep liking, keep watching. Keep subscribing and comment whatever you want down below. Tell me what you think. When we get to 100 subscribers, we'll do something really special. And that's going to be it. And I'll see you guys in the next episode. Call mom. Calling. No. Say yes to proceed. Otherwise, say back or cancel. 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 Call mom. Calling. Alan. Say yes to proceed. Otherwise, say back or cancel. 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 Call mom. Calling, Alan. Say yes to proceed. Fuck!